So in our last video, we talked about functions and we alluded to variable scope and now we're going to talk about it in a little bit more detail. So the scope of a variable is actually pretty important to understand uh, because scope affects whether or not you can use the variable in different parts of your script. So local variables are typically defined inside a function. And to help you guys identify them, I did put in comments here. And when you create a variable inside a function, that is the only place that you can use the variable. So if you try to access movie, song, or sport down here, it's not going to know those variables. Okay, those variables are only known inside the favorite function. A global variable is a little bit different. Okay, so down here we have a global variable. It is declared outside of a function. So it's not in a function, which means you can pretty much use it anywhere. Okay, so we happen to be using it right below. This is where we're using name. But later on in the program, if we wanted to use it, we could. So if you wanted to see the example live, you can go ahead and run it. Not very exciting. <laughs> um, so it prompted me for the name, uh, basically displayed it back. And now we're going to take a look at this little example. So same kind of example, uh, but down here in the script, after we call favorites, we are trying to write the favorite movie, song, and sport to the page. And this is going to give us an error because movie, song, and sport are declared up here in favorites. This is the only place we can use them. So when we try to access them down here, they actually do not exist down here. So we are going to take a look at what that looks like. if I can type. <gasps> Not a good typing day. Uh, let's see. I have no idea. That's easy. Okay. Now, it says my name is Lisa, which is correct, but it did not print out favorite movie, song, or sport because there's an error. So anytime your JavaScript does not display what you think it should, you probably have an error. So you do need to press the F12 key. Now on some laptops, you have to press FN and F12 in order to get into the little developer window. Okay, and I see a little one there. That's never a good thing. <laughs> that means I have an error and it's showing me the error down here. Uncaught reference error, movie is not defined. Uh, here it's telling me it's a scope, oh, the scope error example, line 25. Here it's showing me line 25 as well. I can click on that. You'll see it's highlighted in yellow. This is where the error occurred, okay? Because movie is not defined. So I'm trying to print out this movie variable and it's not defined. Usually if it says not defined, it is a scope error. Uh, it's not defined down here, it's defined up here. So if I want to print it out, I would actually have to do it up here. And that is a problem because it's not in the body of the page. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit back and we'll close out of this little window. So in order to print the local variables, as I just mentioned, you have to do it within the function. Uh, so if we look at this little example, 
we're prompting for the name, we're writing it out. And then we have our function. And then we have the function call. So you have to kind of do it in this order because you cannot call a function uh, unless the program knows about the function. So you have to define the function before you define the function call. So if we set it up like this, the document write line statements will not produce an error. So if we click on that, what is your name? Favorite movie? Favorite song? Don't know. Uh, and running. Okay, and now I get all of the printout. So if you want to know more about scope, you can go ahead and go into the W3 school site and run through the examples.